This man recently went viral on many social media platforms after he revealed that he's in debt of more than one billion US dollars. This man claimed to be a very wealthy, successful businessman who deals on Bitcoin and many other businesses. In fact, he's not known by his name again. He's known by his popular book he wrote, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, who is among the best selling books in the world. But how come a rich man, a wealthy man, a man who claims is wealthy, who wrote a book about getting rich on how to get rich, is not claiming that he has 1.2 billion naira in debt? How come you claim you are rich and meanwhile you are in debt? Because the world, everybody believes. If you must be super rich, you shouldn't have any debt. No debt to pay. You shouldn't. Okay? And people were blasting him on social media, calling him out and everything and everything. In fact, let us listen to him on what he, what he said about him being in debt. Uh, YouTube videos, you actually said that you're currently $600 million in debt. No? $1.2 billion. 1.2 billion. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and the reason I, I talk about debt is because in 1971, when I was in Vietnam, Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. Right. They don't tell you that, you know, and the money became debt. And so then these communist school teachers tell you to get out of debt. Like what's his name? Uh, Dave Ramsey and all that live debt free. And that's good advice for the average person because debt will kill you. But debt is money today. For the average person, debt will kill you. But debt is money today. For example, look at our country. What is the reason behind them uh, seeking for loans here and there, taking loans here and there? In fact, let me give you a very common example. Aliko Dangote. The refinery he built recently in Nigeria. How do you think he financed that refinery? Where, where do, did you think he financed that refinery from? Debt, loans from CBN. From CBN. Those wealthy men, how do you think they operate? You think they operate from their savings account? Come on, man. For average people, of course, debt will kill you. I have never been in debt me myself. Never been in debt. But it's just that, do not borrow from someone and put it inside your stomach. Borrow from somewhere and put it in a business in a business and allow that business to service that debt for you. Then move on to the next one, collect another uh, another loan, open a business and allow that business to be servicing that debt. That's how this rich man works. But yet again, I saw a lot of comments. People said, wow, you said you are rich. You are super, super wealthy. And yet you are in debt. Come on, man. He said it. For an ordinary mind, debt will kill you. But yet again, if you would check religious wise, debt is not good because you don't know how long you are going to live. You will take loan, take loan from a bank, and tomorrow you just die and it's on your neck. So these are the our religion really speaks against it. But as a confirmed businessman, they don't care about anything like religion or what anybody has to say. They go for it. Even my dad, who is a successful businessman, when he started, huh? when he started, based on trust from suppliers that he bought, it, that he usually buy goods from, based on trust from the suppliers, they were giving him goods on credit. He wasn't buying, he wasn't paying again. You supply to him, he sells and return the, prof return the money back to you and he take his profit. That was how 
he ended up being a very successful man today. So think. Think. Sometimes you can collect loan based on trust and so many other things, guys. So my brothers and sisters, think, huh? So that being said, please, there's a deliberate attempt by these uh, Hollywood superstars to distract us from the kingdom of God. So you have to be extremely, extremely careful. I keep saying it now. I might be saying it based on God is kind of like using me. I might be a tool of God trying to tell you now that there is a deliberate attempt and you really, really need to be careful. You know, when an entertainer decides to drop a music, some of the lyrics being sketchy, we don't understand it. They will tell us his heart is just expressing him or herself. And when they drop the music video and they start uh, glorifying the devil and some fetish things, we start, we start saying his heart. It doesn't mean anything. It's just expressing him or herself. Lil Nas recently dropped a music video for his popular song. And honestly, this guy, the whole concept of that song, indirectly took a page or some few words, some few stories from the Bible and from the book of the Lord, from the Quran, of a folly angels, a angel that was cast from heaven and he fell directly to hell. But guess what, guys? The Nas incorporated the whole story. He made himself a fallen angel, fell straight from up down to the deepest part of uh, down to the deepest part in hellfire. Then, when he landed, he immediately twerks on the devil. Hey, <laughs> God! See the entire video, please. I can't post it here. I can't post it here, but check the telegram. There's a deliberate attempt by these artists, by these entertainers. Something, something, something is fishy somewhere that we do not understand. That is beyond our imagination. Because we keep thinking about it. Like, why will you make such video? What is the motive behind making such video? Can't you, praise God, according to Portable, can't you just do something really nice, like make it friendly. But no, these people are trying so hard, trying very, 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 very hard to bring out an ideology I do not really get. I don't, I, I'm still thinking, I'm still thinking of that ideology. What is it behind those words? If really they are trying to push that narrative and yet they say, God, do not know Some people still believe that there is no powerful force they are trying to disrespect somewhere then something is wrong with you then why are they pushing such narrative why are they pushing such narrative then people of god if you are for god listen be careful out there man <laughs> because these guys are not smiling you know they want to turn us away Turn us away, you know. Sometimes we say, oh, I'm just listening to this artist because of his song or her song at nights. I, mean, I don't I don't care about what the video might say. Come on, man. There's a difference between listening. Like there's a difference between hearing and listening. Hearing, like if you are passing by, you just hear someone talking about something, but listening. Like you played it yourself, you will you listen to it well yourself. Please be careful out there. And again, a correlation to Ini Edo and IG Obuna. Well, they just recently confirmed they are in a relationship. That is kind of like good. Obuna celebrated his birthday yesterday, and check out the beautiful message from uh, Ini Edo. She said, "It's it's world, it's world." Okay, OCC day. Happy birthday, King. You are amazing, kind, sweet, brave, love, smart to me, and hold wise man. And above all, you have the purest of heart. May the universe align with you, your every dreams, 
and may the goodness of your heart attract only and all the goodness of this world and may your days be filled with peace joy and laughter be buried in my love Ike Obona. well why not now why not they say that they, they, there's this uh, popular word they say workshop when they say workshop it's where you walk that's where you chop from exactly so it's where you walk the people you see around you you will definitely feel attracted to them possibly you will get your wife or your husband or your girlfriend or your boyfriend from the, from the place you usually go from the place most especially your workplace yeah Wish them all the best, guys. And uh, of course, it's a boy, Gadam Slink. Catch you next time, peace.